Hi everyone, Shruti Bhaiya from TGT and welcome to another video about iOS beta update. Apple has released iOS iPadOS 15.6 beta 1 for the developers. By the time you are watching this video, public beta may be out as well. In this video, I will talk about all the changes, features, performance, battery life and should you update to iOS 15.6 beta 1. This beta came just days after the public release of iOS 15.5. You need to have the iOS 15 beta profile installed on your device to update to this version. Then go to settings, then general, then software update and you should see the update available here. The update size was 5.66 GB in this iPhone XR. Every time we move from a public version to a beta release, the update size is huge as it rewrites the whole OS. So the update size was more or less same for all the other devices here. There is a change in modem firmware version but the version number actually went back a bit. As you can see before the update the firmware was 4.04.02 and after the update the firmware is 4.04.01 so it has been downgraded by 0.01. Maybe this was a better modem firmware for this device so Apple moved back to this version for the time being. The build number for this update is 19G5027E. Now let's talk about what's new in iOS 15.6 beta 1. As this is just the first beta, there are not many new changes yet, but according to the Apple newsroom, iOS 15.6 is going to be a big update. The first thing that I should mention that has been found within the codes, it was informed by Steve Moser over Twitter and that is related to accessibility features. Apple is working on a few accessibility options including one to hide emoji search. So if you go to any app and open the keyboard, here we can see emoji search option is default. But maybe in future we will be able to hide this option. Also some smart home accessory pairing string changes are upcoming as well. The reason why I was saying iOS 15.6 is going to be a big one is because of this Apple press release article. If Apple doesn't push these features to iOS 16, then you will see these features very soon. It says Apple previews innovative accessibility feature combining the power of hardware, software and machine learning. So these accessibility features introduce new ways for users with disabilities to navigate, connect and get the most out of Apple products. Door detection feature is for users who are blind or with low vision where you can point the iPhone camera towards a door lock and get more information. Then we have advancing physical and motor accessibility for Apple Watch. With Apple Watch mirroring, users can control Apple Watch using iPhone's assistive feature like voice control and switch control and use inputs using voice commands, sound action, head tracking or external made for iPhone switches as alternatives to tapping the Apple Watch display. For the deaf and hard of hearing community, Apple is introducing live captions on iPhone, iPad and Mac. Users can follow along more easily with any audio content, whether they are on a call or FaceTime call, using a video conferencing or social media app, streaming media content or having a conversation with someone next to them. Next one is related to voiceover. Let's go to settings, then accessibility and then to voiceover. If you use voiceover then Apple is going to add many more voiceover languages and voices very soon. Also this week Apple is celebrating global accessibility awareness with special sessions, curated collections and more with sign time. Sign time was launched in Canada on May 19th to connect Apple's store and Apple's support customers with on-demand American sign language interpreters. If you use Apple Books, then Apple is adding some new themes and customization options for Apple Books. Talking about bugs and known issues, the Apple Feedback app is back again and within that, if you go to the iOS iPadOS 15.6 beta developer release note, you will see there is one known issue and that is related to Xcode. Developers were having issues related to Xcode 13.4 are advised to use Xcode 13.3.1 instead. Also, even after so many versions of iOS 15, some users are still facing storage bug. This iPhone XR is free from that bug as you can see. Also, this iPhone 7 has no storage bug issue either as you can see here. But many of you are still facing it after iOS 15.5 as well. So do tell me in the comment section below if iOS 15.6 beta 1 is any better or not on that regard. 
Same goes for the Apple Music bug as some users are still facing that. Now talking about performance, iOS 15.5 was a good enough version for iPhone XR. So far iOS 15.6 beta 1 is also seems to be stable. I am not facing any overheating issue, storage bug, Apple Music bug or as such in this device. Also this beta is really smooth in older iPhones as well such as in this iPhone 7. In fact a few days ago in Twitter I was reading that iPhone 7 might get iOS 16 as well. So that is going to be a very good news for iPhone 7 users. Battery life of iOS 15.5 was good. It will take a few days to report about the battery life of iOS 15.6 beta 1. In this graph you can see that I get around 6 to 6 and half hours of screen on time with this iPhone XR which is really impressive. My battery health after more than 3 and half years of usage is 85%. Apple also released iPadOS 15.6 beta 1 which I have in this iPad 6 gen. All the changes and features I mentioned are applicable in this version as well. This version is ok so far in this old iPad. Here is the Geekbench 5 scores for iOS 15.6 beta 1 for this iPhone XR. Single core score is just a bit down from the previous release but this is still very early days for iOS 15.6. So if you have a secondary device and really want to try out a new beta then only you should install this version otherwise there is no need to install this version as most of the changes are still within the codes. If you are facing connectivity issues then this version might help. But it is always risky to install a first beta on your primary device. I have summed up all the new changes in iOS 15.6 beta 1 in this video. Hope you have liked it. Do like, share and subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.